Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to drape a patient with breasts in order to do a point of care cardiac ultrasound. So in order to be able to do this, you should be familiar with the hand and probe positioning for a point of care cardiac ultrasound. So if you need to, you can review our previous video called hand and probe positioning for cardiac ultrasound on the Cooper Ultrasound YouTube channel. Uh, so here we have a patient with breast tissue and we are gonna do a cardiac ultrasound. So you'll wanna start out with the patient in a gown and then we'll use two towels in order to continue to drape the patient. So the first one is gonna go across horizontally across the patient's chest like this. And the other towel is going to go vertically head to toe across the right side of the patient's chest like this. And then with these three in place, the gown and the two towels will be able to keep the patient covered up while we get all of our cardiac views. So the first view that we're gonna do is the parasternal long axis view. And so in order to do this view, we're gonna use the cardiac probe and we'll have the probe marker going towards the patient's left hip. And so in order to do this, we'll leave the uh, horizontal towel covering up the patient's chest and lower the gown down like this and be putting our probe here to the left of the patient's sternum. And so from here, we'll have access to the entire left side of the patient's chest in order to get our parasternal long axis view and the patient is still covered up. Once we find our parasternal long axis view, we actually don't need to move the probe in order to show the short axis view. We'll just rotate the probe 90 degrees so that we have the probe marker now pointing towards the patient's right hip. And again, the probe is still on the left side of the patient's chest and the patient is still covered up. The next view that we're going to do is the apical four chamber view. And so if you'll remember, in order to do that, we need to have the probe at the apex of the heart. So on the left lateral part of the patient's chest with the probe marker pointing towards the patient's right. So in order to do that, we'll put this towel back up here and this towel here, and we're going to be uh, moving the gown from the lateral side and putting the probe over here. So in order to do this, oftentimes you'll need to move the patient's breast tissue so that you can put the probe where you need it to be in order to see the heart. So at this point, I'll usually tell the patient, I'm gonna lift your breast so that I can put the probe underneath and use the hand that I'm not holding the probe with to position the towel and the patient's breast appropriately, move the gown, from the lateral side here and bring the probe in here so that you can see the apical four chamber view. An important part to this is just checking that the patient is comfortable after you have their breast tissue and the, the drapes appropriately um, positioned. Um, so just checking in and saying, you know, are you comfortable with, with how I have my hands? And then you can go ahead and do the apical four chamber view here. And then lastly, we're gonna do the sub xiphoid view. And so for this, um, it's helpful to have a sheet covering the patient's bottom half of their body. And then as long as you have the sheet here, you can lift the gown. Use the sheet to keep their abdomen and lower half of their body covered up and position the probe here with the probe marker pointed towards the patient's right. With the probe just under the xiphoid process, you'll be able to get the sub xiphoid view and again, keep the patient covered. And that completes our basic cardiac ultrasound um, and reviewing how to drape a patient with breast tissue.